I'm I'm John Quintas. I'm uh, working for uh, Institute Pedro Nunes, that uh, it's a, a research and technology organization based in Coimbra, in the center of Portugal. Um, so um, we have um, multiple um, competences in in our organization. Uh, one of them is um, working on uh, the the technology development for uh, health and uh, active and assisted living uh, uh, technologies. And uh, within this um, lack of, uh, of competencies or set of competencies, we have been developing a, an open platform for um, uh, igniting uh, an ecosystem building of um, applications related with health and uh, well being. That was called uh, EVIDA. So this was um, a, an activity uh, funded under a national project, a large scale um, national project that uh, involved uh, uh, about 20 partners. And we were uh, the leaders of um, that consortium that in the end um, resulted um, the EVIDA platform. Yeah, so uh, we build Evida um, already taking uh, into account um, the needs of uh, that are involved in building an ecosystem of uh, different applications. So uh, this is uh, first it, it's uh, an open platform is and it's built on top of open uh, source technologies. The main one uh, it's uh, a framework uh, for web uh, development application uh, in Python that is Django. So we have the capacity to um, integrate um, standalone um, applications and uh, that we called at the, um, at the time. Um, uh, self-hosted apps and um, basically we have also the capacity to integrate uh, third-party applications that may be um, um, hosted in uh, third-party servers uh, by exposing an um, API that allows um, third-party applications to integrate um, data with our own platform. With this said, we have um, also worked on connectors already to some specific standards used in um, in healthcare. Uh, at the device level, we have uh, developed some connectors for the IEEE 11073 uh, standard. That basically is the um, a standard used in in mainstream um, devices, medical devices, and um, some. Uh, software applications related with personal health uh, um, records and so on. Um, and also we have um, incorporated a, a broker um, that facilitates the integration with uh, other applications that are using HL7 or DICOM uh, communication um, standards. And uh, essentially uh, the main benefit uh, is that we provide a tool for developers to quickly develop um, applications related with this um, the sector of um, healthcare and, and well-being without uh, the need uh, for them to really know about this, uh, all, all these um, uh, standards and uh, the, the background or the, the the specific requirements to to integrate um, all of them as long as as they um, know how to communicate and the user a rest api uh, all the complexity of uh, creating um, the connection to other other um, applications is performed by the platform so um uh, also, we have been uh, working uh, in the, in the, um, um, in the building of the, an ecosystem of stakeholders around this platform. So, um, one of the activities that was uh, associated with it uh, was uh, uh, the organization of a Dev Challenge, which uh, uh, we uh, 
took uh, the chance to um, involve uh, much more the end users by collecting their challenges and have them um, these type of challenges uh, listed in a platform so um, developers could have uh, also a pool of ideas to work on. So basically this uh, Evida platform is um, abstracting a lot of the complexity um, and uh, involving the ecosystem in, in one place so it can be easier for everyone to share knowledge and to create uh, uh, the technology infrastructure to support um, the, the provision of help to a specific uh, health condition or pathology or just for, for well-being. Yeah, so for this, uh, some type of specific solutions that we have currently um, available in the, in the catalog, in the, in the Avida platform are um, quite various. So uh, at the center of it, we have, uh, uh, let's say a call, a core, a core application that is the personal health record, which is basically a, um, a view, or a, if you want to call it a, a dashboard that, um, shows in a single place uh, all the um, data or information that is being collected from the different applications. And then these applications can cover different uh, domains of life. So we have applications for um, work, uh, um, the work environment. So uh, basically um, we have uh, uh, this application uh, that is uh, called the Theus for a therapeutic exercise at the workplace, for example, it's integrated in the platform in, and uh, provides the user to have access to um, a questionnaire that uh, assesses um, its condition uh, in terms of well-being at the workplace, uh, mainly focusing on pain in uh, the, on the neck or the upper back and then based on um, uh, this assessment that was uh, basically uh, developed uh, with the help of physiotherapists and uh, sur uh, spinal surgeries and uh, other uh, professionals from the movement and uh, uh, skeleton uh, areas basically they propose uh, some exercises to alleviate this type of uh, pain or uh, stress in, in these uh, areas. Um, other applications are more related on the, with, um, with the collection of uh, um, um, biometric data, which are quite uh, uh, well known type of applications uh, in many platforms. So the connection to um, medical devices that in the end um, aggregate uh, much, a lot of data and then um, uh, let's make, make this data available uh, to the platform. Um, it's another type of applications. Uh, we are also integrating not only with the web-based applications, but also with mobile applications. And uh, one case, uh, one specific case of this is a, a kit uh, that we prepared that is um, uh, integrating a set of medical devices that include a, a blood pressure meter and a oximeter and a weight scale together with a tablet that we basically um, provided to social carers that uh, are going uh, in the provision of uh, the domiciliary service. So they could trick this um, kit with them and start assessing some uh, or collecting some health related data from patients or, or people that is uh, at home and uh, not being supervised by any clinician or any healthcare professional. Um, and all this data would be gathered or captured by a, a mobile um, application that was available on tablet and then um, route back uh, that information to the platform. So the ecosystem is quite um, um, quite uh, broad. Um, we have many application types that uh, are available already there. Um, and uh, these are some examples of it, yeah.
Yeah, so uh, we would say that the main challenges in the uptaking this type of technology um, for um, in one side is um, um, the business model behind it. It's uh, quite tricky uh, because we are talking about a double side market uh, that uh, requires uh, also to have a marketplace in place. So. Uh, both uh, developers and potential users can access um, um, the applications. And um, this uh, makes, um, uh, the, makes this type of uh, adoption and widespread uh, uh, a little bit complex because um, for one, if one, in one side, uh, developers are not uh, very open to be imposed with uh, with a specific architecture or specific technology that may restrict uh, their um, options in terms of development and uh, business logic um, implementation for their solutions. On the other side, also uh, potential end users are not very uh, open to um, very close solutions and uh, solutions that uh, cannot be um, flexible enough to create or accommodate uh, uh, features and, and functionalities that um, address uh, their own needs. So um, this makes uh, a little bit um, a challenging equation because uh, as a platform, you are not um, uh, providing uh, um, a single solution that uh, are addressing that is addressing the entire set of uh, specific needs of, of a specific user so you are you are there as a, as a facilitator and enabler of technologies to appear that have this mission and then on the other side um, you need to have from the technological technology perspective, you need to be um, quite uh, uh, active in keeping up with the uh, with the development of technologies and uh, the how standards are developing. So you can have uh, um, uh, uh, an appealing value proposition for for the developers. So um, it's quite tricky <laughs> to to make it uh, to make it uh, work. Um, in the end, um, this is uh, something that uh, if uh, you are uh, able to develop the, the, the platform and maintain it somehow through uh, funding of other uh, consequent projects or um, have a, a, a health authority or a, or a regional uh, authority that can uh, um, support the maintenance of these type of uh, of technologies or, or platforms it's uh, quite um, uh, an important point for the survival of these uh, of this type of technologies but um, yeah um, I, I think that these would be the the major challenges in in developing this type of of technology and uh, of course, these challenges kind of uh, um, limit the wide spreading of these tech of of these platforms uh, across Europe. We have uh, many players uh, also working uh, towards uh, developing their own platforms, and uh, um, then it comes also to uh, to a degree of integrating them um, um, uh, between each other. So in the end, you you have a much more uh, rich ecosystem, and uh, that at the same time is uh, um, develop for a specific uh, cultural context, and uh, that can be um, uh, well deployed uh, at the local and regional level, or national level even. Um, so all of these things. Um, make it quite challenging to to develop such type of technology. Um, yeah, uh, actually, there are uh, some um, important aspects of our own work uh, here at uh, IPN that we have been uh, 
learning from uh, developing uh, such technologies um, and uh, they are increasingly pay um, an important role um, and this comes um, to what is uh, referred as uh, the, the validation aspects and assessment of the solutions uh, as well uh, or as taking care of uh, the aspects related with the regulatory and legal um, issues uh, so and this is quite uh, uh, related with the with the support to certification processes so uh, for example in, in for this type of applications and uh, now with the uh, with the um, with the um, with the new regulation for medical devices uh, mostly sure many of these platforms will classify as a medical device so uh, in the aspects uh, related with the certification of such softwares as um, as a medical device becomes becomes quite important um, and here at IPN in our team uh, at the automatics lab we have been uh, developing uh, our own framework of developing such uh, technologies uh, that cover not only the design aspects uh, and we are, try always to to follow a, a co-design uh, strategy by involving the end users and the developers and all the relevant stakeholders um, that are um, relevant to develop a new technology, but also uh, the parts related with implementation and um, the validation and testing of that solutions, um, covering the support to certification part and also uh, what is also known as a early health technology assessment that basically uh, looks at technologies from a different perspective uh, to understand the, um, the cost benefit uh, um, of each solution uh, and also not only from the technology side and from the user side but also from the economic and societal impact that uh, those technologies could have so um, this is a quite uh, recent uh, development i would say um, but uh, as i was uh, referring at the beginning uh, it, it comes from a quite uh, um, long learning process and uh, with a lot of effort uh, applying uh, into the development of technology and um, little by little we started to understand that uh, you need to have a, a quite a multidisciplinary team that can cover all the these aspects so in the end you you are building technology that is really useful for the end users it, and it will cause an impact uh, both at the societal level and economical level Thank you.